Good day, everyone. Today, I'll be presenting about reverse thrust. In order to understand reverse thrust, first, we have to really understand what forward thrust is. Forward thrust is where the aircraft's engine sucks in air from the forward environment, releasing back to its engine compartment. And it applies Newton's third law motion concept, where the air goes in and comes out at the back. This produces a resultant force moving forward of the aircraft and this is what propels the aircraft in a forward motion. For, uh, forward thrust uses Newton's third law of motion concept where Newton's third law says that every action will produce an equal and opposite reaction with the same magnitude where it, it defines as how much of air goes in front of the aircraft is converted to the same amount of force exerted forward. Next, we'll be going through reverse thrust. Reverse thrust applies the same concept of Newton's third law, where it, in reverse thrust, it acts in the opposite direction. This is the engine. This is the propeller blade. This is the propeller blades, propeller hub. Reverse thrust is achieved by manipulating the blade pitch. There are two types of blade pitch. The first blade pitch is fixed blade pitch, which is only used for forward thrust only. The next blade pitch is manipulating blade pitch, which means that we could manipulate the pitch of the blade to achieve what kind of thrust we want. So in this case, manipulating blade pitch is for the reverse thrust purposes. So, Moving on. To blade angle. To, uh, to explain blade angle, we have to have a propeller blade, recognition of plane of rotation, the cord line, and which part of the blade is blade back and blade face. So in this case, I take a sample of the propeller blade, and this will be the plane of rotation, where a, nine, a 90 degree from this axis will be the plane of rotation. Plane of rotation is where the blade and the movement is seen as a straight line. The line going through the center of the blade is known as cord line. And the blade angle is the angle between the cord line and the plane of rotation. So this is known as blade angle. Okay, next is the erosion strip. Erosion strip is mainly applied on the leading edge of the propeller blade this will be the leading this will be the propeller blade and this will be the leading edge the erosion strip is partially covered on the leading edge of the propeller blade the erosion strip reduces the vibration significantly moreover it also makes the propeller blade operable in all weather conditions that are the uh, major uh, functions of erosion strip Okay, one. Next is the reverse angle. What is reverse angle? Reverse angle is where it depends on which quadrant does the propeller blade lies on. Let's say this is the first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, fourth quadrant. So let's say the blade, for an example, the blade is placed on this quadrant. So, to, to measure the angle, it is taken from the cord line of the blade to the plane of rotation. So, therefore, the nearest plane of rotation to this, in this case, is upwards motion to the, approaching the first quadrant. Therefore, this will be the angle, but the direction of angle is in reverse. Therefore, it is known as negative angle, which in other names is known as reverse angle. The next example is where the blade is on the first first quadrant. The blade is in the first angle. So, this will be the plane of rotation. This will be the cord line. This will be the blade angle. This is forward angle because the direction is in clockwise motion 
but at the same at the same example we can illustrate reverse angle this is the reverse angle which it goes in anti clockwise direction and backwards motion therefore this is also known as reverse angle thank you that's all from us this uh, explanations has been done by norantran and me myself darwin thank you